want to know who it is? It's... Grace! Grace is a really big fan of Callie's World. In fact, she even says she's my number one fan! She messaged me and asked if we could do a video call together. And I was like, yes! Of course! Grace is so super cool! And not just because she's my number one fan, she has her own vlog where she posts videos like me, but hers is way cooler. And she is so nice and so fun and has a beautiful singing voice. And sometimes, <sighs> these last few weeks we have been talking about our feelings. 
Can I be honest with you friends about something I'm feeling right now? Thanks! I don't really know what to even call this feeling. Has that ever happened to you? You're feeling something, but you don't know why or what it is? It's just that Grace is so super cool. I'm so happy she's my friend, but I just know I'll never be as talented or funny or as cool as her. And that makes me feel... Uh, I don't know, but not very good. What do you think I can do to be more like Grace? Ooh, I know. I can try to be a better singer. Mm, that didn't work. Maybe I can practice my jokes? Knock, knock. Who's there? Hatch. Hatch who? Bless you. <laughs> Wasn't that funny? <laughs> but not as funny as Grace's jokes. Ugh, I don't know. This isn't making me feel better either. I just don't know what makes me special. I'll keep thinking while we check out our Bible story for today. It's time for today's Bible story. It comes from the book of Nehemiah chapter 2. Nehemiah was from a place called Judah, but he and his family were taken away from there. Now, he worked for a king in a far, far away land. But one day, Nehemiah learned his home Judah was in real bad shape. In fact, it was nothing but a pile of rubble. It had been destroyed by a big fire. This made Nehemiah very sad. It wasn't good to show the king that he was sad, but Nehemiah couldn't hide it. Nehemiah could have gotten in big trouble for being sad in front of the king. But the king valued Nehemiah greatly. That means he cared about Nehemiah. So the king asked him why he felt sad. Now, Nehemiah had a choice to make. Even though the king asked him why he was sad, if he told him he was sad about his hometown, what would the king think? But God helped Nehemiah be brave. He knew that the king would value the fact that Nehemiah told him the truth. Nehemiah told the king about Judah being burnt to the ground. Then. The king asked Nehemiah, what can he do about it? Nehemiah prayed to God and God made him feel valued and gave him courage. Nehemiah asked the king if he can go back and rebuild his hometown. The king said yes, and Nehemiah was allowed to go. As Nehemiah set out on his journey to rebuild Judah, his hometown, he would know one thing for sure. Because of God, I can feel valued. Valued, that's the word I've been looking for. It's the feeling you get when somebody thinks you're special and that you are important to them. I guess Nehemiah felt valued because the king listened to him. He also felt valued because he could go back to his hometown and help build it back up. But I don't know what would make me feel valued. Hey, Callie, it's so good to see you. Hey, Grace, it's good to see you too. Hmm. Callie, is something wrong? You don't seem like yourself today. Oh, you noticed that? Well, the thing is, I think you're super cool. And you know how you say that you're my number one fan? That's right. Well, sometimes I'm just not sure why. Wow, that's the reason I wanted to video call today. I wanted to tell you face to face how much I value you. That's why I'm your number one fan. You value me? Yes, of course. You mean a lot to me. You're really funny, smart, and kind. You're a really good friend too. But most of all, I value you because you're you. So I don't have to be the best singer or tell the best jokes or wear the best clothes? Not at all. 
I mean, I really love the clothes, but those things don't give you value. You are valued because God made you. And I value you just the way that God made you. Wow. Thanks, Grace. I value you just because the way that God made you, too. So, I guess, because of God, we can both feel valued. That's the big idea for the day. Because of God, I can feel valued. Because of God, I can feel valued. <laughs> and you know what's cool? We don't just feel valued, we are valued. God values us and loves us so much that don't ever think you're not good enough or special enough. God thinks you're awesome and I do too. Knock, knock. Who's there? Olive. Olive who? Olive, you Grace. Olive, you bad girl. Talk to you soon. And Olive, all of you too, my friends. If you ever feel down like I was today, and you feel like you're not special or not important, tell those feelings to go away and say, Because of God, I can feel valued. friends. 